Hi. So, today's Monday, and by the end of this week, I am flying to Korea, to Seoul, um, for my first ever <laughs> trip outside the country since the pandemic started. I'm really, really excited. There's a lot of art materials that I'm excited to buy as well. Um, but one thing I wanted to try to do this trip is to do some travel journaling. So I've been looking at ABC's um, things, like how she documents her travels, and I thought it was interesting, and I wanted to try to do it for this trip. And it involves, like, a lot of things. Like, it's a lot more... Um, stuff heavy than I thought it would be so I thought it would be a cute little video <laughs> random like sudden video um to pack to sh you know pack with me pack my writing and art-ish journaling materials with me and also when I got home today okay so like this UPS driver called and he was like oh I don't know uh like I'm here at your house to drop something off and then it turned out to be um print copies of match made in lipa what the heck what I did not think, I did not know it was arriving today, but it's here, it's downstairs, one box, one whole box of author copies of Match Made in Lipa for me. So <laughs> yeah, that was, that was um, an interesting surprise. Mentally, I told myself I will handle it next week because I, I can't. <laughs> so yeah, so let's pack some art supplies. So I'm going to pack the entire journal kit in this gouache bag. This is a gift from my sister, I think last Christmas. And it's big enough to put in a lot of things. Um, and it fits an A5 journal really well. As for the journal, the very important thing, I'm going to use this. This is, uh, I guess it's an A5 journal. Oh, this is not the front. I guess this is an A5 journal that I made using mixed media paper and I bound it together using dental floss using Coptic stitch binding. So I think there are five signatures here of two pages, two sheets per signature. So it's quite a lot of pages. It's really meant for gouache and acrylic and other mediums but I thought watercolor would do really well here because it's not a lot of sheets just enough and then I washi taped an envelope that came with a sticker order I had just you know put things in like tickets or ephemera or whatever so let's pack that it's a little difficult to fit this here but for you on Next, another little thing I have is this um, Ziploc case. It was something I bought off of Shopee a few years ago, last year. And the stickers inside are washi and they're art gallery themed. So, um, and this is a Rothko, I think. Not sure what these are. These long boys, this is a Toulouse, Toulula Trek. These are Mondrian. Toulula Trek again. They're just pretty, they're pretty general, general enough that they fit any kind of theme. And there's also this. this these are post-its, sticky notes that I got from the In The Soup zine I bought this year. <laughs> it's so cute. It's, I think this is Jin. No, this is Jin. And this is Taeyong, I think. Swimming for, you know, fishing in the lake in the In The Soup one. So cute. There are, I brought three sheets just to fill in the page. And then this. So this is a fully booked discount card <laughs> that I just used as a washi tape sampler. I just got some of my washi tapes and just looped it around a few times. This is an empty washi tape. This is, uh, I got this one from Kiki K. This one was an exclusive design from the Rainbow Village in Taiwan. 
this is from Rifle Paper Co. And this is a thinner empty washi tape. There's a little more of this empty one because I was thinking of using it as, instead of bringing glue, I would just use this one. So yeah, all of that goes in this little zipper pouch. And I mentioned I was going to bring watercolor. So this is my set. It's just a cheap um, palette set that I got from Craft Central, I think. And of course, it's, it's full of BTS stickers. Anyway, this is the set. All of these are super old um, watercolor tubes that I collected in my early days of painting. And I realized that most of them are Holbein. Um, some of them are also Windsor Newton Cotman. Like this one is um, Rose Matter Hue from Windsor Newton Cotman that dried up a bit, so I had a hard time getting it out of the tube. This is, and this is Daniel Smith Moon Glow. If you can see this swatch here, it's like um, it's almost like if Payne's Gray, which is this color, a bluey gray. If Payne's Gray was purple, that's Moon Glow. And it's one of my favorites and yeah i have two lemon yellows because um anna mason who i used to follow advised that you have two lemon yellows one for mixing just plain yellow and one for mixing yellow and green at the time i was doing a lot of bot botanical paintings so i just got used to it and it's really it's really good it's a really good piece of advice so yeah this is what i'll be using for the trip The next set of things I will pack in this pencil case. My sister gave this to me for my birthday. It has my initials. And it's just a leather e case. It can actually fit quite a lot. For brushes, for watercolor, I'm going to bring this. I am not sure what brand it is, but I bought this brush pen from the Everything Calligraphy sale that happened recently. I, this is not really meant for water um, because I've only seen it with ink inside because as you can see the filler is piston so it's really meant for ink i think but i mean it was cheap <laughs> and it was on sale so i'm going to use it for the trip uh, for correction purposes i'll be bringing this archer and olive acrylograph pen in white in the 0.7 size i will be honest archer acrylographs are not my favorite paint pens it, they're kind of difficult to get out of the of the nib and it unless you really shake it hard before you use it and sometimes the flow is very inconsistent but it is very opaque and it really helps erase mistakes when you make them so and then there's this tombo fudenosuke uh i was not a fan of brush pens in the past i but after using the tombo i really liked it because the nib is plastic and it can do thick lines, thin lines, depending on how hard I'm pressing on the pen. It's very versatile and I, I'm not sure if it's waterproof. I think it is. I'm like 50% sure. Of course, I also bring a handy dandy eraser. This has been super useful. This is like my second refill. And yeah, um, it's really easy to just erase things and I erase a lot of things when I draw. And then uh, one of the things that I took forever to think about was pens because I cannot use fountain pens on the plane. That's like asking for disaster. And um, I knew I had to bring a ballpoint pen and a pencil. So I thought this would be a good compromise. This is the Unistyle Fit. So it's like one of those clicky pens in the past where in the 90s where it, there would be like different colors. But this one only has three uh, barrels and you can buy different barrels, different kinds of colors for the barrels inside. So this is like, <laughs> this is the BTS, BT21 edition. And it's so cute. Even the box when I got it, so cute. So I currently have it filled with three different um, barrels. This is the yellow and then the blue and then the best one is a mechanical pencil so there's a mechanical pencil barrel it's a little bit more expensive obviously than the uh ball pens 
but it's so useful and it's so easy. So yeah, I love this. Then we have fountain pens. So important, Char. <laughs> just really like, I just really like driving with them. The first fountain pen is the Twisby Echo. Twisby Echo T, I don't know the difference. Um, in lilac. I think I got the second hand from Facebook. And it's in perfect condition. I don't know if it's still in perfect condition because I use it quite a lot. But right now it's filled with um, Ferris wheel presses, stroke of midnight ink. I don't know if you can see that there are sparkles in it. In fairness, this is a fine dip, fine nib. And the sparkles still show when I write with it. So it's kind of very handy, good to you. Not really handy. It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. It's easy to write with. And yeah, I wanted to bring it. And the next is probably my favorite fountain pen currently. This is the Jin Hao 80. Um, they say this is a dupe for the Lamy Safari. But I have never... I'd never heard of the Lamy Safari before... I got the Jin Hao 80. So uh, it's pretty cheap too. This is less than 300 pesos and it's an extra fine nib. So and it is currently filled with Vinta Inks Makopa, which I got from, I also got from the Everything Calligraphy sale. Um, I also ac accidentally got a sample size of it because the color just really speaks to me. It's one of my favorite colors. It's bright. And when you write with it, it doesn't seem too jarring, but it's a bright and beautiful color. I thought it would bring some life to my journal. So yeah, bringing it along. Last but certainly not the least, Flex Lang. This is my Apple Pencil. <laughs> Apple Pencil 2. Uh, I wish I wrote more on my iPad more than I used to, but then I got into fountain pens again, so it is impossible to leave this on the iPad. Parang I always feel like mahuhulog, matatanggal, and I'll just forget it, so I just bring it along with my pens. So there. So let's pack everything up. This is very um, high for my journal style. Normally put this in with the bigger bag, but since they recommend that you keep fountain pens standing in transit, I didn't want to risk it, so I thought I would just put them all together here. So that's it. This is pretty much my travel journal kit for our little trip. I don't think I will be able to bring this on all the days that we're out, um, just because I don't really want to bring too much every time but there are some places that i really want to try and bring it along when we're just sitting chilling <laughs> we're predicting a very chill trip hopefully so yeah so this is a travel kit yay yeah so that's it um it's really just a matter of packing everything else at this point and um we we are going to be exactly at the very last week of autumn the temperature kind of drops a couple of degrees for the week that we're there but uh, i'm just i'm excited really I, we bought these tickets in june <laughs> yeah i can't wait to share things with you of course i'm doing travel vlogs because i am that bitch so <laughs> yeah um i hope you like this video um, please like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.